Hi, Jackie here. I'm the manager of therapeutic programming for AFA, and it's my pleasure to introduce Emily Sharp, board certified art therapist and licensed creative arts therapist. In today's virtual community class, we'll be exploring some geometric shapes, starting with just tracing the outside of a cup or a bowl. So grab your watercolor paints, paintbrush, and let's join in for some awesome art therapy. Hi, my name's Emily, and I work as an art therapist. Today I wanted to share with you guys a simple project you can do at home um, to express yourself creatively. Today we're going to be working on an abstract painting project using geometric shapes. Um, but before we begin, I wanted to check in and see how everyone's doing today. How are you guys feeling? Um, I know it's a difficult time. Uh, a lot of us are spending a lot more time at home than we normally would. And that can feel tough, I think, for everybody. Um, for me as an art therapist, I might rather do this project in a group, right? Like I'd rather be in a room with you guys um, making art together. But since that's not available to us right now, um, I want to encourage you to, to, to work on these kinds of things at home. Um, I think making time for ourselves right now can feel difficult um, and also can feel really necessary. So having these creative projects at home, um, I think, uh, take a different form than we're used to, but I think can be really meaningful. So I just thank you guys so much for showing up here today um, and working on this with me. Um, so to get started, I have a few materials. Um, I have a pencil. So grab maybe a pencil, a pen, whatever you like drawing with. I have a, a shape that I'm going to start with, which is I'm going to use this circle, this bowl. You could also use a cup, um, any kind of shape that you might want to start with. I like starting with a circle just because I think everybody at least has like a cup or a glass or a bowl in their cabinet, right? So we're going to use this to start with. I also have some different colors of paint. Um, you can use whatever kind of paint you want, uh, watercolor, acrylic, whatever feels good to use. Um, if you don't want to use paint, that's okay too. You could use crayons to color with, uh, colored pencils, markers, really whatever you have handy, that's fine. So to get started with this project, like I said, we're going to be doing an abstract drawing or painting using geometric shapes. So I'm going to just take this bowl and I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to trace a circle on my paper. So I'll show you what it looks like. It's just a simple circle. So that's how I'm going to get started. And then I'm going to take this bowl and trace a few more circles. So However you like to do this, it could be with a pen. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Um, you can place the circles anywhere you like. And so we're just creating some shapes. I'm going to draw a few more circles here. And as you can see, my page is starting to fill up with some interesting designs. The circles are kind of working together and connecting in a, I think, pretty interesting way. So I'm gonna draw maybe like, maybe another here. And that circle didn't come out so even, it's okay. I'm just gonna let it go. I think art is also a really good practice in letting things go that aren't perfect. Has anyone been dealing with that lately? <laughs> and if you want to add any other shapes, you're welcome to. So I took a look around my house and I was trying to figure out maybe what other interesting shapes I could use. Like this, uh, this glass was a square. So if I wanted to add a square, I could. I found a coaster that was like a hexagon, I guess. Um, that might have been an interesting shape to include. I kind of like the way this is looking with circles. 
If you want to also, if you have a ruler or a straight edge, you could add some straight lines to the circles to give it some contrast, maybe some visual interest. So I'm gonna draw a few straight lines across this page too. And again, there's really no rhyme or reason to like where I'm choosing to place these lines. We're just gonna see what happens. We're gonna just kinda go with it. Maybe do one more here. So now I'm left with this page that I think is going to be pretty fun to add some colors to. What do you guys think? What did, what did you guys come up with? What is your what does your artwork look like? I'm curious what shapes everyone used. Um, was it difficult to find items around the house? Did it seem pretty easy? Um, let me know. Let me know what you guys came up with. So next I have some paintbrushes and I have a little paper towel, some water, and I just chose to use really primary colors. Um, so red, yellow, and blue, you know, they mix well together. Um, I could make green or orange or purple if I wanted to, but I think for now I'm kind of just feeling like using, maybe using these primary colors. So I'm just going to dip a little water in here and start off with yellow. I'm feeling like I need a little yellow today. It's a little cloudy outside. Not the nicest not the nicest day outside the window. So I'm going to I'm going to use some yellow in my painting and it reminds me of sunshine. So I'm just choosing a section in which I want to add the yellow. And again, doesn't have to be perfect. That's the thing I like about art therapy versus art class is that we don't get graded. We just get to, to work on uh, our projects and really enjoy the process. How's it been feeling for you guys to be creative at home? Has it felt pretty good? Does it feel like a break in the day? I think it's been important to me to feel like I'm still expressing that creative part of me. So I've added some yellow to the corner. I'm going to find some other spots that yellow could go. Maybe over here. And what do you guys think? What do you think of when like when you think of the color yellow, what comes to mind? I know I said the, the sun earlier, that's something that um, I kind of immediately think of when I think of the sun. I might also think of uh, flowers, like something about seeing some beautiful yellow flowers. I'm a uh, anxiously awaiting springtime. I'm really looking forward to the change of seasons. Now that we're in spring, it's going to transition to summer soon. And I think I'm really looking forward to that, that transition and that different time of year. What do you guys think? What are you looking forward to about the change of seasons. Something to think about today. And though I know this is a recorded video, 
you guys could always leave comments below. Um, and we can also engage in a conversation around some of these topics. So there we go. I've added some yellow. And already I feel like my paper is sort of changing. Like it's, it's sort of like becoming maybe a little brighter. So we started off with this blank paper. There was nothing on it. And we took an everyday object, like a cup or a bowl, and traced some shapes. So it's kind of like making something out of nothing. And now adding the color, I feel like it's coming to life in a really nice way. How are your paintings and drawings coming at home? Are you guys enjoying the process? Are you liking what you're seeing? I'm curious what colors others try, you know, decided to use too. Maybe it's what colors you're naturally drawn to. Is it an array of colors? Is it, you know, just a few? How did you pick? Do you guys have any favorite colors? I guess that's another, another good question to ask. I think one of my favorite colors is green. And it's funny, I haven't used any green in this painting and I don't even have it on my palette. So I'm moving on to red now. I've decided to add a little bit of red, even in some places next to the yellow. I feel like it might be a nice contrast. And I'm also trying to balance my colors across the page. So to create like a balanced composition. So instead of having a lot of red in one area, I'm going to move the red around the page to different sections. And I'm sort of trying to stay in these lines that I've created for myself, but it's not really going perfectly and that's okay. Like I think in, in some areas I'm kind of going over the lines and I think it's all gonna work out okay though. All right, so I've added some red here. Let me see, I might do, I'll do one more space red on the edge. Another color I chose on my palette was blue. Just mixing in a little bit of water here to make the paint spread easier. And then I'm gonna start applying the blue to some other areas. And this is a really rich color blue. Did you guys choose um, a blue color in your palette as well? Let 
And I'm curious, what do people think of when they think of the color blue? Is it, is it a color that feels relaxing to you? Um, does it remind you of anything in nature? For me, I think the color blue feels pretty relaxing. Feels like a soothing color to use. It's a cool color. So maybe that's part of why it feels relaxing to me. I also really love the ocean. I love to go take a walk by the beach, spend time in the ocean. I love being in the ocean. Um, it's kind of my favorite place to be. So maybe that's why I like, I like the color blue a lot. I also think of maybe like a, a peaceful sky. This color is a little bit darker than a sky blue, but I think it does also have that in my head, that association with kind of like a clear sky. What do you guys think of uh, when you think of the color blue? What comes to mind? Is it a color you like to use in your artwork a lot? So I'm just adding some more blues here. And as you can see, you could really, you could really add a ton of colors if you wanted to. There's a lot of space for it. Also, depending on how many shapes you created in your in your in your original sketch. So my painting is really coming to life. There's a lot, a lot more that's been added just in the last few minutes. What's your painting starting to look like? Like, do you think that it's changed a lot even since adding some of those new colors? Again, we all sort of started off in the same place, right? We all started off with a, a blank piece of paper. And it's really changed and really morphed since then. I might do a little more yellow in here too. I feel like I have some, some areas in which I could add some more. And here I'm noticing, I put the yellow right next to blue and it's kind of bleeding the colors are kind of bleeding together a little bit so I'm gonna practice just like acceptance in that moment and try not to judge it too hard you know maybe it, it, it muddied the color a little bit or I didn't quite stay in the lines but I think I can I think I can still be okay with that and I can say you know it's life. <laughs> it happens. I'll still continue. So there's one last color that I thought might be interesting to include in this, um, in this painting, and it's black. And I was thinking that black is a really contrasting color. So something that might might make the other colors stand out quite a bit. So we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna just fill in a few more of these spaces here with the color black.
did you guys choose to use the color of black in your painting as well? It's definitely showing up in quite, quite a sharp contrast. And again, some of those colors are, are kind of bleeding together. My, the integrity of the shapes that I've drawn in some places, you know, aren't holding up that well, but it is creating some interesting patterns nonetheless. So I'm adding some more of these black shapes. And it's creating a pretty, pretty interesting result. And instead of coloring in all of the spaces, I'm actually thinking I might leave some white as well. So instead of painting the paper white, I think I'm just going to leave some of these, some of these spaces, just that white color of the background. That's up to you. You can fill in all of the spaces or just some of them. And again, this project is totally possible to do with colored pencils or markers or crayons or anything else you have at home that you like to use, pastels. It's up to you. I was in sort of a painting mood today, so I thought I would lead you guys through this demonstration. Let's see. So now that I have a lot of these colors down, I'm kind of going to look around and say, are there any other places where I want to balance the composition a little bit more? Are there any other colors I want to add to other sections? And I'm looking over here and I think that this white space feels a little blank to me. So I might come back in I think yellow might look really nice in this corner. So I'm just gonna like add some little finishing touches like that. Just add some yellow over here and maybe a little blue in this corner. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of blue right over here. So how's that been for you guys as you're adding like some finishing touches to this painting? Does it feel like you're able to balance the composition both with colors you're using, maybe the shapes that you're using? It's an interesting thing to talk about. Also, I think interesting right now, sort of as a metaphor, like we're all kind of trying to find balance in our lives. Our lives have been a little bit disrupted or a lot disrupted, depending on the circumstance. How are you guys, how are you guys finding balance in your everyday life? Okay, so I feel like I might feel good about stopping here. You know, I haven't filled in every single space yet. I have some white spaces still left to go. But I kind of like the contrast of the white and the black. And I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see. It might drip a little bit, but because uh, it's still wet, I'm going to hold it up. So that's what I came up with. What are your paintings look like? What do your drawings look like? I don't know if it's possible. Are you able to post it to the comments below? Are you able to, you know, share your artwork with the group? Um, if that feels good for you, you can, you know, leave, leave a photo of what you made in the comments below. Um, you could also describe it. Like if I were to describe this, this painting, I might say, 
you know, I used circles and straight lines and I created a geometric painting. I chose to use red, yellow, blue, black, and white for the color. And as I was working, I thought about what those colors kind of mean to me. The blue was reminding me of the ocean. The yellow was reminding me of the sun. The red, I guess I didn't really think about that as I was making it. Maybe flowers, like red flowers. Um, so even though this is a very abstract kind of drawing, it doesn't really um, resemble anything um, other than the shapes and, and how they uh, play together. Um, I'm still kind of reminded of other things based on the colors I chose. So I'm curious how this was for you guys. How did this project feel? How did it feel to balance the colors and the composition? How do you feel now at home? Do you feel balanced? You know, does art bring out something in you, um, that creative part of you, uh, you know, that needs to be nourished? Um, I hope that this project was a nice break in the day. Um, I hope that, uh, you know, you guys will uh, get to communicate about the art you made in the comments below. And I hope to see everybody in person at some point, you know, soon too. Maybe we can all do a group together. So that's our project for today. I hope it went well for you at home, and I'd love to hear about how it went. Thank you so much for joining me. It was really great to get to do this, uh, this project with everyone today. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. All right. Bye, guys.